Hi, this is Diane from ePet Videos. This is just a reminder for you to return one of our videos. It's titled 69 Techniques to Improve Your Love Making. It's overdue by two weeks. Be sure to return it to us soon. You know the drill. Go get them. All right, so more money is we're probably going to be needing. I'm guessing it's time for assassination missions. That last boss battle was eh. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have the funds right now. Hopefully, it does not take too long. Uh, but uh, that last battle, you yeah, know, it was not much of a fight. It was more or less dodge the beam, run in and out of buildings, and that's about it. Now, I'm going to take you guys today. Hopefully, I went the right way. To Naomi's sword enhancement store, I suppose you could call it. And this is where you can get powerful beam katana upgrades, very much like myself. Instead of the standard bloodberry, like uh, most people start out with, she will be uh, helping you with the uh, parts. Pretty much all these I bought except for this one. And uh, so it's energy saving, so yeah, it is defin definitely, I mentioned this at the beginning of the LP, the charge up time seems faster for some reason. And that's because I had all these upgrades and it transferred over to this file. So, it otherwise would be a lot slower and unfortunately eh, it is uh, a lot more annoying that way. So, the second playthrough is a lot more enjoyable, I will say that. Here are the different uh, versions of the Beam Katana, and uh, each is better than the uh, last one. So, the upgraded versions, you know, it just goes 1, 2, 3, it is not switching the Beam Katanas for special abilities, it is uh, pretty standard stuff, but it's a good place to come if you want to uh, not have to charge up your beam so slowly. Let's see, where... I suppose we should just get a job, a kill mission, because, uh, quite frankly, it is one of my favorite things to do in this game. And it is easy enough. Well, as we run over to all the trees, we'll go on tree killing missions. But it is easy enough to boister up enough money, get enough bank to fight that boss in the next rank. Alright, so what will we be taking today, Pebbles? Uh, let's see. The finale. We already defeated this guy once. But we're going to do it again. Uh, you can see the repetitive nature of having to spam mini games and assassination missions after all of the uh, boss battle rankings. And the reason it seems so spammy, at least in my opinion this is, is because when you get into the rank challenge mode, the same thing that you did to make the monies, which is uh, doing these kill missions, at least for me, because trust me, the mini games that we have played so far, I have not enjoyed them, they have been quite boring, and the ones that I haven't even shown off, they're not that much better. They involve cutting grass, looking for kitties, Kittens, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do the kitty search uh, later on. If this is not enough monies. But, uh, you know, after every uh, boss rank mission, you have to get monies. And some of the most efficient ways to do it is with these kill missions. But then you go into the rank challenge and do the same damn thing that you did to make the monies to get into the, that place. It is infuriating sometimes. Makes me want to cut Pepple up. Well, at least I'm in the right place. Bring it on. 
I'm not sure if your pebbles noticed. But if uh, it picks up on the microphone, you'll be able to hear at the start of me drawing my Wii Remote Dean Katana. You can maybe hear it even now as it swings back and forth. There is a noise to it. I'm gonna have to charge it up real fast. Charge! That's what I'm talking about, Pebbles. That is Naomi's upgrades. That is not the normal speed of a Bam Katana. Wah! And some Pebbles may argue, well, Vladimir, this is such a powerful Bam Katana, like you say. Then why not simply do bitter mode? You've got the heart of a Russian. You're slashing up bad ass like it's no big deal. Why not go bitter? Now the problem is, comrades, there's still a 15 minute limit on this YouTube channel. It's until this channel becomes partner, we're just gonna have to slash this guys. Oh well, I guess I killed the guy. There was the one main CEO that I had to go after. I was just cutting all of them up. Heh. <laughs> Eventually, I'd hit them, right? Eh, bronze. We got beat up a little. But, uh, yeah, so bitter would take a bit too long. I've heard some of these battles in the bitter mode could last you uh, maybe 20 minutes. And that is just not the time I'm having. So let's see if we can go find that kitten collecting job. Third class man. Not mastered the first class man yet. It's not too bad. First rate. God will give you hard working with a smile. Alright, all the jobs are listed on the bulletin board, so he's your pep talk boss slash mission giving guy. Uh, let's see. Graffiti cleaning, scorpions, we already failed at the mines. Coconut collecting sucks. I hate that one. Lawn mowing, garbage collecting, graffiti cleaning, uh, bike chunk, let's see. Uh, where was the kitten ones? Meow meow, there we go. 3000 for each kitty we find, guys. We have to go to a neighborhood. We have to find those pebbles who have lost kittens. Their posters all posted on the walls saying, I'll pay you $3000 for my lost cat. Have to be some rare Siberian tiger kittens or something. I mean, why else would you be paying that much to find your lost kitty? I just don't know why. Whoa, it's a car! And since you are on a bike, you will always fall victim to cars. They will run you over like you're nothing. Whoa, Travis, get off the ledge like that. Hit this person, there we go. Our mission is in this cul-de-sac. It's not really a cul-de-sac, is it? It's more or less a little suburban neighborhood. Alright. Meow, I don't really understand the unspoken rules of Santa Destroy. Try to think a little more like a cat meow meow. Got to find those cats. Got to get busy, I love meow meow. <laughs> love meow meow. Many of them, so much, keep them too. It's going crazy with uh, kitties here. It's got a bit of a cat fetish going on. He's one of those guys you'll see in the cosplay, dressed up with the cat tails and the stings. Alright, capture the cats that have fled into town. Use some foxtail grass to attract the cat's attention. Alright. We have the foxtail grass on us already, so... No worries there, guys. You don't have to go looking for grass. Along with uh, kitty cats, too. You! Alright, so this is a waggle mission. At first I thought it was a, uh, there you go. At first I thought it was just a flick of the nunchuck back and forth. 
but this is pretty cool. They actually initiated real arm waving action. Oh, look at this adorable guy. Well, he was pretty easy to get. Must find kittens. I don't think this is the right way. Oh, good, another yard. Might as well be back here. Oh, here's a cat. Money was, was never so easy to buy. Or buy. What am I saying? Buy. Obtain. And it's more like it. Oh, look at that. We're just running into these kitties. See, what did I tell you? Rare white Siberian kittens. Probably escaped some kind of crate from uh, a cargo ship or something. Who knows who was importing these little guys. But this is important that we pick them up before they evolve and grow into full-grown Siberian tigers. Albino so Siberian tigers too. So albino in fact that they don't have stripes. Yeah, but you thought that would never happen. Well, sure, you think they're innocent little kitties. But wait till they bite your face off. Not so innocent anymore. Alright, where are those confound kitties? I feel like there's one around here. You! We must have just missed you or something, because we were right over here. I'm not sure how accurate it is measuring my, uh, wee waggle mov movements. It is much more enjoyable, I'll admit this, than, uh, going back and forth with the nunchuck. I do like waving my arm, trying to play with the little kit cats in the grass. But uh, I'm not as sure that it is being accurate in measuring my waggle motion. I think he's looking for a shake here and a shake there. You could just uh, maybe even fist pump your way remote. And it might collect the kitty cats. I don't know. Eight me Siberian tigers. Eight mini albino Siberian tigers contained. And gold was obtained. That is good. Please let us have enough monies. Not enough monies. So close. So close. You know, let us do another kill mission. How about that? We collected the cute little kitties. Now let's mix in the action. It is funny because in this overworld, you cannot really cause any havoc. You know, other than running into people like that. It's not such a big deal. You know, you can't even wield your beam katana in this open world. Now, in the sequel, Peppos, a lot of uh, past comments have been yelling at me for this, but I will address this now that we're moving on to another kind of spammy kill mission and I need something to chat with you about. No More Heroes 2 is definitely better than 1. And uh, it does away completely with this somewhat useless overworld. Just making you have to spam more and more missions and uh, mini games and these things just to get to where you really want to be. That boss challenge. Running through all the individual levels that have level design in them. And enemies specially geared towards that area. You know, No More Heroes 2, it did this much better. Much better. And uh, No More Heroes 1 is not 